morning guys today is Monday and it is going to be day eight of classroom setup today is pretty exciting because I'm meeting with my team teachers officially to start planning although who even knows what planning is anymore because the second you plan something it changes and then I have a ton of little things to do in my classroom today it's starting to finally come together but I picked up some more containers from Target the other day I also just bought um, a mirror from Target but I don't think it's ready to pick up yet it's only 8 a.m. and I think they just opened Oh, I don't know, I just got an email from them. But it is 8.03, so I'm gonna head to Target right now to pick up the mirror. If you're new, definitely hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all my classroom setup vlogs and teaching related videos to come. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Haley Teaches. I'm so much more active on there. I'm on there every single day. As always, my Linktree link is in the description box, which has all my links, including my teacher gram, my Amazon storefront, my Amazon classroom wish list, and you can get one free month of HP Instant Ink with my referral code. I'm going to head to Target real quick and then I will see you when I'm in my classroom. Alright, oof. I'm always out of breath walking up three flights of stairs. I'll show you guys how it looks um, from Friday. I came in on Friday for a couple hours with my little brother. I think the only thing I really did was staple up some of the multiples posters. So I made a list last night on my phone um, of things I need to do today. I'm meeting with my team at 9.30. So I have a little less than an hour to start on some of these. I'll probably start by finishing stapling the rest of the numbers because I have them all cut now. All the multiples are up and I think it looks so cute it's a little off-centered but it's really cute and I like it these are by Sienna from venture forth on Instagram and teachers pay teachers so I will link these down below because I'm obsessed they also come in a color scheme as well but I just chose the plain white okay I literally prepped so much stuff over the weekend so I have these supply icons that I just need to add magnets to the back to so I can put them um, over here to have for my you will need section and then these are accountable talk speech bubbles I'm not gonna put these all up because I want to kind of introduce them as we go along um, but I'm thinking under there or above here I'm not sure let me know what you think is better maybe above because it'll be hard for all the kids to see the bottom these were from I think it's cooties and cuties or cuties and cooties I'm not sure on teachers pay teachers um, I got this also during the dollar sale and I kind of organized them by category. So the green is like citing evidence, yellow is clarification, purple is like change of opinion, um, plain white is agree, um, this pinkish reddish is bringing in other perspectives, and the blue is disagree. I have some more vinyl I need to put up, I have these for my teacher toolbox. And these for the containers that I got from Target. Okay, the attendance board is finally finished. Probably right on this window so that they can just come in and move their magnet. I finally made the arrival and morning work schedule card because breakfast used to be the first thing and we're not going to do breakfast at school this year. Um, so I'm either going to put arrival or morning work or both. And then I totally forgot about agree and disagree hand signals. So I have my hand signals up here. I'm just going to laminate these two and add them to probably over there. While I'm setting up my laminator, I just have to say you guys ask me all the time how I make these things literally PowerPoint <laughs> like I make pretty much everything on PowerPoint um, this was on PowerPoint this was on PowerPoint PowerPoint anything my little heart desires I just make on PowerPoint I 
just tested out my labels and they fit perfectly. Good morning guys, it is day like 9 or 10 of classroom setup, I'm not really sure at this point. Today before I head to school I'm actually picking up some free like storage organizer things um, from one of my middle school teacher's friends which is really awesome. If you guys remember like the five drawer cart that I got from Facebook Marketplace, it's kind of like the double one of that. But I think it has six drawers on each side and then she also has four of the just three drawer containers like the Sterilite ones that I already have one of in my closet and I'm going to leave some of those in my team teachers room for her to see if she wants them she mentioned she would take some because I don't need four more of them I already have one and I'm not even sure where I would put them yesterday I did go into my classroom and I did a ton of stuff and I didn't vlog um, I don't know I just wasn't feeling it I feel like I get so much more done when I'm not vlogging but today I have a lot of labeling and more organizing to do and I feel like the rest of these videos um, are mostly going to be little stuff because most of the big stuff is done which is pretty exciting. Um, my classroom is really starting to come together. Okay, so I'm in my classroom. I wanted to make sure my mirror did not fall so I think it's on pretty good because it did not fall. So this is one of the things I did yesterday. It's just a mirror from Target that was $6.99 and then these are the positive affirmation cards that I made a while ago and I think it came out really cute. I hung up my attendance magnet board um, so as they come in they'll move their magnet to here and then whoever's at home either because they're absent or because they're virtually learning <laughs> will be over here. Um, so that actually might be a little confusing but um, I just put my little white table over here. I want to do like a little sanitation station. This is the thing I just picked up for free um, and I have three more of these in my car. I'm gonna go drop these off in Aaron's room and I think I'm just gonna keep one because I have one in here and actually no another one won't even fit in there so I don't even know if I need one of those because I really have no room for it another thing I did yesterday was I put my prizes in here and I just made labels last night so that this will be 10 20 and 50 dollar prizes um, based off our classroom economy um, and then those mini erasers are probably just do like five dollars in here I started to organize yesterday we're gonna hopefully finish it up today do a bunch of labeling and then I finished my open storage yesterday, so it's nice and organized. The only thing is that one's empty, which is fine. I'm sure I'll find stuff that needs to go in there. Um, but yeah, everything's nice and labeled. It looks really satisfying from like this view. This is how I set up my small group area. Um, it's not perfect. This thing is gigantic, but there's really no other room for it. Um, 
and then I have my guided math and guided reading carts kind of cornered like that and then that'll leave just enough space for me to sit over there and then have like some kids over here but I don't even know how exactly that's gonna work and then I finally hung up the social studies vinyl over there so that all the subjects are now on the back whiteboard wall everything is looking really good um, I took out a bunch of desks for my room because the max I will ever have in here is like 11 or 12 so I kept 12 desks and the rest I put in the hallway and now I'm just trying to figure out where to put this I don't have room for it but I obviously want to keep it I got it for free and then my mom um, painted it with the dry erase paint so this is a dry erase table which is really nice so that's pretty much everything I did yesterday I definitely did get a lot done and I don't know I just wasn't feeling vlogging oh I forgot to show you I also covered my desk with the wrapping paper to kind of match with everything um, so I think that's really cute and it kind of just pulls it all together so yeah I feel like my classroom is definitely coming together um, mostly just organizing now I'm really excited but also Super stressed. I've been trying to just stay positive. Um, I was doing a really good job, and then like the other day we had a meeting. I was just like, oh my god, there's just so many questions, no answers. Um, no perfect way to do this, of course, but we are hybrid. It's definitely like a confusing model because there's so many different cohorts. Um, so we have kids that are going to be here five days a week in person, and then we have the rest of our class, which is going to be half and half split of. Um, hybrid so here for two days and then online for the rest of the week and that's how that goes so today definitely labeling and organizing and then if I have time which I think I will I'll finally start on my math kits and my like personal supply kits those are gonna be the two things that they like take to and from school with them so, like these buckets are gonna stay here in school it has their headphones a clipboard a dry erase sleeve and a dry erase board um, and like it'll have like a dry erase marker and it has like their dry erase eraser um, so that's all labeled with their number and that'll stay in school um, I do have to add a few more things to these but the things I'm talking about are over here so these are gonna be math kits and I'm just gonna put like manipulatives and stuff that'll help them with math at home um, and also at school and then these are gonna be like supply pouches and I want to put their name tags on here since like I can't really put them on the desks this year um, but I do want them to see their name somewhere other than just seeing like their number everywhere A lot of you guys were asking me where this is from and I just now see that it says Carson DeLosa um, My team teacher actually gave me these because she had some extras Comes in a pack of 36 and they're just like on like some cardstock like nice quality whatever These are from Amazon listed in my storefront These are also from Amazon and I believe they're listed in my storefront If not I can list them and So are these These were going to be their wallets for a classroom economy But I'm still trying to figure out how that's going to work with the guidelines. So I don't know if we'll be using these this year. I'll probably save them for next year. So I'm trying to charge my camera, but I just took off these stickers that were on here. Luckily, they did not leave any marks, so they were perfect. Just like did a dump into the trash can to get out any like major stuff. And now I'm going to go in with some Lysol wipes and get the rest of this stuff out. So I cleaned all the drawers and I put it right here for now. I think it's going to stay there. Um, and this is going to mostly hold like different types of paper for the kids. And maybe I can put some more like sanitation stuff up here. So now all these bins in here are labeled. I have different seasonal prizes in these and then just labels different seasonal decor in those buckets. And then this is still a work in progress in up here too, kind of, but it's much more organized than before. Okay, so I just put the different labels for the different sets of prizes. You have 10, 20, and 50. Um, I might make a little label to say that these are like just $5 because they're just little erasers.
white lined paper, yellow lined paper, colorful lined paper, <laughs> blank, and then drawing paper and construction paper. And then I'm not sure what will go in here, but I'm sure I'll find some. Oh, actually, this was in here, so I can, the only thing is, I don't know if that's big enough to hold this. So this is like, I don't know what to call this. It's also drawing paper, but it's like thinner and like that like tan color. So I have some of the labels. Um, for some reason, they started giving me a hard time, you know, like because it's just regular paper, it's hard to like put in this little thing. Okay, so I'm gonna make some more labels. Um, I do have the construction paper and colorful line paper labels, but they're not going in these adhesive labels. They're like getting scrunched up, so I might have to print them on cardstock. Finally did this little teacher hack where I use a binder clip and a command hook to organize border, and I think it looks really good and organized. I put some labels in here. Um, this is all my math stuff. This is all the science stuff. Um, and then I did put the headphones label right here. And there's like nothing in any of these other drawers, but when there is stuff in there, I'll make another label. So I'm heating up my laminator, and then I'm just going to laminate these. Um, so thank you so much, Kim, from Elementary and Them In for creating these. They're so cute and meaningful. Oh, I also put labels on my curriculum boxes, so I have math, ELA, science. These are kind of like extra things, and I brought my reading and writing strategies books from home, but I thought that looked cute. It matches my teacher toolbox, which I'm getting ready to head out. It is almost one o'clock. I don't even know where I left off, but today is Friday. I'm in my classroom for a little bit. Um, just want to kind of update you guys on, you know, classroom setup where I'm at and school reopening plans and all that fun stuff. My classroom is pretty much done. I'm very happy with it. It's just like a few like organization things I still need to get done. But I'm like really happy with how it turned out and there will be a classroom tour eventually, probably in the next few days. Yesterday I didn't come in and it was the first day that I didn't come in just to kind of like refresh my brain. And even though when I'm here I'm enjoying it, I feel like it still takes a toll on my mental health honestly being here every day this is a first year teacher you try not to burn out but you're at the same time so excited to finally be a teacher and want to be here all the time which i do want to be here all the time but it's just not healthy so yesterday was so good for my soul honestly i just had a day of like planning and relaxation and kind of getting my goals and my purpose back together looked at six main parts of my life i guess um and i made goals and um plans for those goals so that was just really therapeutic for me because i'm a huge planner if you didn't already know and during this time ever since march when this kind of started for us um, I haven't been able to plan anything because nothing is planable, like everything's changing minute by minute. So sitting down and, you know, planning things I have control over, like paying off my student loans, paying off my car loan, making YouTube content, things like that that I have control over was just really good for me and something I needed. But today I came in because I got my work laptop on Wednesday and I didn't connect it before I left and you need to be on school Wi-Fi before you connect it so I was like you know what I'll come in today um, connect my laptop and I'm kinda just here doing like some pretty chill things I laminated a few things I'm gonna do some cutting um, because like I said I do like being here and when I'm here I'm never feeling like stressed well I can be a little stressed about like the reopening plans but I for the most part just enjoy being here and setting up and getting ready my official start date isn't until August 31st so I'm not like required to be here or anything um, but ever since we were able to get in I've been in every single day setting up my classroom now there is like a little over a week until my official start date which is so exciting but also crazy because I'm like oh my god like once it's my start date like I'm employed, like I have a full-time job. I'm excited, I know it's gonna be a crazy year to say the least, but I'm looking forward to it and I hope you guys follow me along. I will be doing teacher vlogs, but I'm not gonna be vlogging during 
contract hours um, i'm thinking i'll update you guys like in the morning before i head to work and then like after i don't even know if that'll be interesting to watch leave a comment down below to let me know if you're interested in vlogs like that because i'm just not going to be vlogging during contract hours i'm just feeling more positive about it today um my emotions change every day so we'll see how i feel tomorrow obviously plans are changing every minute and i'm extremely type a so that's been a struggle for me lately but i feel like this is obviously forcing me to get used to it and not freak out mentally when changes occur because we just have to roll with the punches, especially this school year um, and as long as COVID lasts. So this year is just going to be a bunch of adapting to change and I think that's something that type A people like me definitely need practice with. I've been ranting for eight minutes now, but I'm going to keep going. Like I said, I don't know, I'm just feeling more positive about it. It's definitely not perfect by any means. It's not going to be perfect. Things are probably going to change a million times even when school starts. Um, so as of right now, it still feels so like nothing set in stone, even though school starts for the kids in four weeks. And I start in less than two weeks. But it is what it is, you know? And there's like some kind of like power in just accepting that things are not going to be easily planned this year and plans are going to change a lot um and there's kind of like some power in just accepting that um and moving on and letting yourself be happy even though all these things are happening because i feel like since march i've kind of just put a pause on my life and you know i've just been waiting for it to be over and not truly you know being in the moment or living because i'm just like oh this is just like a phase of life that's like I can't do anything and things I'm just basically waiting for things to get better and that's not a way to live obviously so this is my life this is my first year of teaching it's not what I expected or wanted necessarily um, but it is my first year of teaching and I'm still excited for it and I need to make the best of it because why not it's like why be miserable about it this is what it is and I'm never gonna get my first year of teaching back so I just need to make it the best I can make it. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, definitely hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with this crazy teaching journey of mine so far. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.